breaking news Nigerians, Aloy Ejimako speaks on the rumor of Nandi Kano's release. Well, welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. I beg subscribe to this channel. If you have not, thank you and may God bless you all. The elite cancer to Nandi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ibo, Aloy Ejimako has the banned rumors of the Biafra agitator's release. Ijimako described the rumors of Kanu's release as fake news. Posting on X, the lead council said there won't be any need for confirmation when Kanu is released. He wrote, fake news alert. The general public is hereby advised to disregard the viral rumor that Mazenam the Kanu has been released. It is pure hashtag fake news. The day Mazenam the Kano, the big elephant and the leader of millions, is freed, the health itself will announce it, and it will not require any confirmation. Kano has been detained since he was uh, adopted and subjected to extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria. Upon return to Nigeria, court had granted the IPOB leader bill. But the Nigerian government has refused to let him go. Uh, why Kano languished in detention at the Department of State Service DSS, the secret police had blocked all attempts by his leader team, his, his, his legal team, to have access to uh, Namdi Kano. So we don't even know why they are doing this. According to IPO, the indigenous people of Biafra, they have stated that its leader, Mazenam the Khan, remains in detention because he has refused to compromise his stance on the Biafra cause. In a statement by his media and um, publicity secretary, Imapa Afo, Ipo claimed that Nam the Khan is a pioneer of conscience in Nigeria custody and should be released immediately. According to the Pro Biafra Group, the federal government uh, was behind Kano's extradition rendition from Kenya to Nigeria in June 2021. So the group accused the federal government of illegal detaining Nandi Kano while attempting to dismantle IPO. They, ad they urged Igbos to continue advocating for the unconditional release of their leader, adding that Kano's call for Biafra is legal. Moreover, Mazenam de Kano has remained, you know, strong and true to his people even after nearly four years of legal detention by the Nigerian government. In the DSS dungeon, the group said, IPOP highlighted the 2022 judgment of the Nigerian Court of Appeal in Abuja, which disregarded and acquitted Kano, as well as the UN committee to oh, uh, arbitrary detentions, uh, condemnation of his abduction, rendition, and continued detention. Despite these rulings, IPOB noted that the Nigerian government has de disregarded the legal and international resolutions. The Nigerian government knows that Mazenam de Kanu committed no crime uh, locally or internationally. He his, his persecution is simply an oppression of ethnic hate, hatred against Indigo, IPOB ascertained. The group warned that Kano is being persecuted, not persecuted, okay, and that the Nigerian government actions have only strengthened the IPOB uh, resolution. Uh, resolutes, they called on the international community to condemn the ongoing persecution and human rights violations against Kano and Indigo at large, the Nigerian government should know that IPOB cannot be destroyed or intimidated into abandoning the struggle for Biafra. So the continued persecution of Mazenam de Kano will further expose the mockery of democracy in Nigeria. So IPOB and Mazenam de Kano remain committed to our demand for a, a referendum. We will not be intimidated into submission by this tyrant of the Nigerian government. Biafra will come, but the wounds of the persecution against Indigo will take decades to heal, the statement added. So guys, 
you've all heard it now. Uh, Nam the Canons uh, Council, Nam the Canons lawyer, a lawyer Jumako, have the banned two rumors of Nam the Canons release. He said, make people rest. Say that one a complete fake news. If Nam the Canon is released, they helped. We announced him. There is no need for confirmation. So anybody who is saying Nam the Canon has been released by the Nigerian government, make now understand say the person. Now story he they talk. Now the canal is still detained and the Nigerian governments have blocked every access for canal's lawyer, you know, to see him. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today. Okay, thank you and bye for now.